Welcome back to the shop. Today we have another putty knife and this is going to be an experiment on using, on tinting uh, stain or dye. I, I had tried a, a quick experiment last night with the linseed oil and this dye on this on this hammer and it just doesn't I mean it was relatively uh, bare bare wood and it and it just it you can see the bottom sort of piled up but if I turn my finger blue uh, it didn't work quite like I wanted it to so I think today I'm gonna try something a little differently I have some some varnish and I might cut it with some varnish uh, I'll put the blue in the varnish and see how that works out but anyway the, this is just goof around in the shop I'm gonna clean this up and uh, we'll mix up a little bit of that varnish in the blue and and see what she looks like Alright, I can't get in there so we're going to bring this over to the sandblaster. Alright, so this is not ideal. I know that that the linseed oil does not seem to hold this stuff very well, so so I'm just goofing around now and this is the gunmetal stuff. Apparently they make linseed oil paint, but I was unable to, in the little bit of research that I did, figure out exactly how much um, how to go about making it or how to color it. Apparently this powdered uh, dye that I've got here can be used in epoxies and I think that's probably where this kind of material would shine. So this is probably going to be a massive failure but you know. Oh uh Oh, pardon me. The, the reason I'm trying this is, is when I mentioned in my other video that I watched the Jimmy Duresta thing and he said the black linseed oil. Apparently black linseed oil is akin to a left-handed smoke shifter. Uh, at least that's what we used to send the young scouts off to go find when we go to a jamboree or something like that. You know, it just doesn't exist. So so here I'm watching these things trying to learn something and they're pulling my leg. But you know what? I, what the hell? I don't know any better. So I'll try it and we'll see what happens. Alright, so we're back with this second of the painter's tools, and I went ahead and mixed the the uh, paint. Oh, geez, I can't remember the name of this. The pigment. Went ahead and mixed the pigment with the just regular old polyurethane, and it left a really interesting blue into the deeper spots, into the crevices of this, and, and that's pretty pretty neat. So I went ahead and said, you know, I want to keep it this way, so. Let me go ahead and shellac over the top of it. And then I went ahead and just sprayed this and, and had the shellac. So what I learned here is that the pigment does not necessarily change the color of the stain. It just sort of becomes uh, something entrained in the in the in the fluid and it sort of fills the crevices in. I don't know if I put it in a white dye, some sort of titanium white paint, if it would turn it blue. Uh, anyway, I, I don't know, and I, I'm not real big on painting things. So, uh, so anyway, but I think this looks pretty damn cool. It sort of has an antique look, like it used to have a blue handle, and now it's just worn off. I'm not into faux finishes or making it look unnatural or whatever, but, you know, I think it's pretty cool. All things considered, this cleaned up pretty good. I just took all the rust off of it, sandblasted it, and uh, painted it. So, so anyway, the, race, the duration of this, the, the remaining duration of this video is going to be me cleaning this up. And I'm going to probably just 
do something with the handle. I'll figure it out when I get there. But anyway, I probably won't have much talking when it comes to this one. So let me go ahead and get this one going. And that will be the end of my putty knives for quite some time. Alright, so that's the other one cleaned up. This one I tried to take a little bit of the pitting out of it because there was quite a bit of pitting in this one, probably worse than any other one, so I figured, you know, if I'm going to write one off, let's just make it the worst one. So uh, that, that polished up alright, it's uh, a little bit smoother. Uh, the handle on this is just magnificent, whatever that wood is, super dark, very, very, very hard. Uh, a really, really nice stuff, I don't know, I wish I knew what that was. But anyway, that's the, that's the end of the the putty knife excapades. Uh, again, the, the pigment in here, I think that's pretty novel. This other one cleaned up pretty nice. And uh, of course the, the first one. Uh, but anyway, after this I think I'm going to finally uh, try to mark out some time for myself to work on not only sandblast and the, 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 the sprinkler, which I probably am not going to show that again since we've already seen it once. Uh, and then when I get tired of media blast and that stuff, I'm going to dive into the lathe because I've really been looking forward to doing that. So hopefully, hopefully I'll have that coming up soon, but I'm not making any promises on when I'm going to get them out. So anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, as always, if you have any comments, please feel free to leave them below. Thanks. Have a good night.